Hi everyone, it's Shelby here to bring you Sid's story time this week. Today, I want to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to read from a book called A Whiff of Pine, A Hint of Skunk, A Forest of Poems. And it is by Deborah Riddell and Joan Rankin. And it's not a storybook, but a collection of poems. I love poetry and I really think poetry is meant to be read out loud and shared with people. So I'm going to share a selection, just a few little poems that I love from this. And I chose this book because in the collection of art that we have at the Sid Richardson Museum, we have lots of woodland animals, animals that live in the woods, starting with one of my favorite little critters we have in our collection, which is a skunk. So cute. This poem is called Eau de Forest, a woodsy cologne. Ch -ch -ch -ch. It's spider webs and dogwood trees, a muddy trail, a blue green breeze, a nest, a leaf, a sycamore trunk, a whiff of pine, a hint of skunk. And here we have lots of forester area, and then right Right in there, you see a little skunk walking by. Have you ever walked in your backyard or been on a trail and all of a sudden you smell something and you know a skunk has been here? Whew, I wouldn't want to cross paths with an angry skunk. P. U. The next poem I want to read is about a beaver. And it's called A Biography of a Beaver. And here is our beaver friend here, and they are sitting on top of a bunch of wood. They have found. Biography of a beaver. Buck tooth cleaver, tree retriever, building conceiver, true believer, waterproof weaver, overachiever, roll up her sleever, hooray for the beaver. Beavers are known for their work ethic. They work hard all day long to build their structures. And they're bigger than you might think. I saw one one time. Moonlit raccoon. Here we have this beautiful raccoon here. And in the moonlight, raccoons are often active at night, nighttime. That's when they are out and about looking for food. Moonlit Raccoon. In a watery mirror, the rugged raccoon admires his face by the light of the moon. The mysterious mask whiskers beneath the silver of crickets still stuck in his teeth. So he sees himself written a reflection of the water underneath a full moon. And they have those really distinct masks around their eyes raccoon eyes. And I want to read one more for you. And this one is about a toad. Look at that big toad. Some might say he's ugly, but I don't think so. <laughs> Toad's lunch. The juicy mosquito I snagged in midair was uncommonly good, yet it didn't compare to the tongue full of ants that I licked off the dirt which would melt in your mouth like the sweetest dessert. But I made a mistake with the slug on a stick, a smidgen too salty. And now I feel sick. I like that one because it's told from the perspective of the toad. And he looks like he's had a full afternoon of eating bugs. And we're happy about it, right, Mr. Toad? Well, this book is really fun and there are lots more poems than the one I read today. Um, so if you like this book, you can check it out at your local library and I hope you um, enjoy the activity that we have for you right now. All right, see you next time, everybody. Today, we are going to write a poem together. I wanna write a Sing Cane poem, which is really easy and really fun. I'm going to be inspired by the woodland creatures that we read about in our story. And I think I'm going to choose a frog. Well, a toad. A toad is really a kind of frog. So the first line of your poem is going to have one word, and that word is a noun. 
what your poem is going to be about. I'll choose a toad. The next line of your poem has two words and you're going to choose adjectives, which are describing words. So let's think of two words that describe a toad. Hmm, bumpy. And some toads are kind of rough when you touch them. Um, but just for the poem, I think my toad will be a little slimy. Maybe he just jumped out of the water. My next line has three words, and those words are verbs. So think of some action words, doing words, words that end with ing. Um, let's see, my toad is singing. and jumping and croaking the next line is going to be a short phrase usually four words so that can be anything about your frog or your the subject of your poem um, i'm just going to say yummy bugs to eat and the last word of your poem or the last line is another one word and it's another word that means the subject of your poem so my toad I'm gonna I'm just gonna write frog and there you go that was easy here's my poem toad bumpy slimy singing jumping croaking yummy bugs to eat frog you can write your poem about anything you want skunks maybe your uh maybe your pets maybe your friends maybe the favorite the thing you like to do the most so i hope you enjoy writing your sing cane poem and feel free to share those with us in the comments or hashtag us so all right everybody see you next time